Hello, everyone. It's English time now. Are you ready? That's right. Okay. Today we are going to learn about food groups, healthy eating, and food around the world. Okay. This is what we are going to do now. But Before we start our English class, remember it's very important to know and follow our golden rules. Let's check together. Turn off the camera. Turn off the microphone. Do not interrupt the teacher. Write your answers in the chat. Answer only when the teacher asks you a question. Just in the case the teacher calls your name, so you are going to answer the question, right? Okay. Let's start now. Look at this picture now and tell me, where is the girl? Mm -hmm. Yes, she is in a supermarket. That's right. And tell me, when you go uh, to the supermarket with your parents, what do they buy? Mm -hmm. Yes, yogurt, milk, what else? Fruit, mm -hmm. some bread. That's right. Milk. Uh -huh. That's okay. All right. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. Look at this picture right now and pay attention to this part because we are going to talk about five food groups here. Okay. So, look at this. So, here we have fruits and vegetables and it's very important for us, for our body also. And here we have bread, other cereals, and potatoes. That's right. And here we have milk and dairy products in this part. Uh huh. And here we have foods containing fat and food containing sugar. That's right. And also we, here we have meat, fish, and alternative, as you can see here, right? This is very important to keep in mind, right? Okay? All right, let's see this part now. Okay, we are going to work page 24 in our pupils book and we are going to work with this part, okay? Listen and read. What are the five main food groups? So you are going to see mm -hmm, the five main food groups, okay? Listen, we know that we need food to stay alive and that it can be delicious. But we also know that we need to eat different types of food and the right amounts to stay healthy. There are five main food groups. All right, look at this. So here we have dairy, mm -hmm, fruit and vegetables, proteins and irons, carbohydrates and fiber, and fat. That's very important to know these five main food groups. Dairy, fruit and vegetables, proteins and irons, carbohydrates and fiber, and fat. Don't forget that and look at it carefully, right? Okay, let's continue with the next part. Okay, you're going to tell me now, look at these pictures. So you are going to tell me what group do they belong to? Okay, let's start now. Letter, uh, for example, letter A. Mm -hmm. Tell me, please. That's right. Carbohydrates and fiber. Very good. What about letter B? Mm -hmm. Very good. Proteins and iron. That's right. And C? Yes, fat. That's great. And D? Mm -hmm. That's right, dairy. And what about E? Very good. Fruit and vegetables. Okay, so here we have the five main groups. Mm -hmm. Very good. And now, uh, for example, when we think on, on breakfast foods, so they have um, for each group, no? Okay, so for example, here we have carbo carbohydrates and fiber, right? For example, it is in cereals and rice, for example, okay? So, look, how healthy are your breakfast foods in activity for? Give each a score out of five, okay? Okay, what do you think? Which is very 
and healthy and which is very healthy. For example, if you can see here, so rice is healthy, right? Mm -hmm. And what else? For example, as a dairy is very healthy because every day you have to go to 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 eat um, that kind of of food. For example, milk, uh, cheese, uh, uh, yogurt, and so on. Also, very healthy is is uh, eating eating fruits and vegetables, right? That's right. But what about fat? Mm -hmm. Yes, eating cake is not good, no? It's unhealthy. That's right, my dear students. Let's continue now. Look at this. So, look at the breakfast. Where do you think they are from? Okay. You are listen and check, right? Mm -hmm. Pupils book, unit 2, page 25. 6. Look at the breakfasts. Where do you think they are from? Listen and check. 1. This is pan con tomate, bread with tomato. It's from Spain. It's easy to make and it's delicious. People enjoy eating it for breakfast. 2. This is a croissant. You can get it in almost every hotel in the world. But it comes from France. People often eat it with a cup of coffee or tea. 3. This dish is called menemen and it comes from Turkey. People make it with many different ingredients, including vegetables, eggs and spices. It's delicious. 4. This is pap. It's also sometimes called millipup. It's a popular breakfast food in South Africa. People usually eat it with milk, like cereal. That's right. Okay. As you can see on number one, this is called pan con tomate. And it's from Spain. Okay. Bread with tomato. Okay. So what about number two? This is the croissant, and it's from, that's right, friends, that's right. And what about number three? This is menemen, and where is, is it? Uh-huh, tell me. That's right, it's from Turkey, right? And the last one, what about this, this, um, this food? It's, it's called pap, and it's from, that's right, from South Africa. Okay, don't forget this part right let's continue working now Pupils. okay so look at this part now you are going to listen and then you are going to and also you are going to read mm -hmm. let's see now pupils book unit 2 page 25 7 listen and read where is this breakfast from people often have breakfast at around seven o'clock in china because children usually go to school before 8 o'clock. People often buy breakfast from a street store, and they eat it as they travel to work or school. China is a very large country, and the breakfasts are different in different cities. The most popular breakfast is soya milk with yuxiao. Yuxiao are like long fried donuts. People dip them into the soya milk. Other people prefer rice noodles or buns with meat. All right, listen, can you tell me what is the most popular breakfast in China? That's right, it's soya milk with yu xiao, okay? That's right, and also she's uh, and also remember that you shall are like long fried donuts, right? Okay, and yes, it's from China. Okay, that's right. Let's continue working now. Okay, 
Look at this. Now, we are going to work activity book, page 24. And now, you are going to put a foot in the correct foot groups. Okay, let's start now. What about fruit and vegetables? That's right. Cauliflower and strawberries. Very good. What about protein and items? Mm -hmm. Yes. Chicken and beef. Very good. What about dairy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yogurt and cheese. Very good. And what about carbohydrates and fiber? Mm -hmm. Yes. Pasta and rice. Very good. And what about fat? We have butter here. That's right, chocolate, no? Okay, please, this is very important to know, to identify to, uh, to which group, okay, food groups they belong. Okay, that's right. Let's continue working now. Look at this. We are going to circle mm -hmm, um, a healthy food, okay, in green, and unhealthy food in red, okay? Let's start together. Okay, that's right. Milk is healthy. Okay, also we have lettuce, yes, fish, pineapple, and carrot. That's right. They are healthy. And what about healthy food? Mm -hmm. That's right. Soda or Coke, chocolate, uh, chips, and cake. That's right. Okay, this is very important to know. And then you are going to write a healthy breakfast for your family members. Okay, don't forget to do this part. Okay, let's continue now. Look at this. So we are going to work this part quickly. Okay, what about this uh, breakfast? Tell me the name. That's right, croissant. And it's from mm -hmm. France. And may, it's made with, yes, butter. This is easy peasy. What about this this uh, uh, breakfast? Yes, pan con tomate. That's right. And it's from Spain and made with, yes, bread and tomato or bread and tomato. That's the same. And what about this uh, this breakfast? That's right. It's menemen and it's from mm -hmm, Turkey. And it's made, of, uh -huh, it's made with egg, tomato and green peppers that's right and the last one what about this this food okay yes it's called pap uh -huh. it's from south africa very good and it's made with maize that's right please this is very important to know okay that's right let's continue working now okay here you're going to answer the following question about china Okay, so remember the, the, the reading? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see and let's work together this part. Where do they often buy breakfast? That's right, they often buy breakfast at the, at the street store. That's right. What is one of the most popular breakfasts? Very good, you shall. That's right, fried chicken, no? What do people drink with it? Very good, soya milk. What other breakfast do people eat? That's right. Rice, noodles, and burn filled with meat. Okay. Use these questions in Activity 5 to write about a popular breakfast in your country. This is for you. You are going to work by yourself this part. Okay? All right, my dear students. Don't forget to practice it. What was our, what was our topic about today? Mm -hmm. Yes, we talk about mm -hmm, the five food groups okay that's right please don't forget to that mm -hmm. that's right okay see you soon my dear students don't forget to practice and don't forget the the five group mm -hmm. the five food groups right that's right very good mm -hmm.